Hello and welcome to DFS Coach Talk. Today is Friday, September the 10th. I am Joe Sarvati, affectionately known as Coach, and I am joined by the one and only Josh Crash Davis. How are you today, Mr. Davis? Doing great, Coach. Going to have a big, uh, big weekend of sports. We've got, you know, baseball tonight. We had the NFL kickoff last night. Had a great game between Dallas and Tampa. A lot closer than I think people thought it was going to be, for sure. Uh, and then we got college football tomorrow and then NFL and Major League Baseball and all weekend. So it's going to be good. Yeah, this is prime time. You know, the fall is the best time. Even this going into this next month, because we have the baseball playoffs, NBA starting up. I mean, this is this has to be, you know, the favorite time of the year for DFS players, uh, and especially in these main sports. So. Great time to join us here at DFS Coach Talk on Twitter, dfscoachtalk.com. You can sign up. We have as little as a three-day pass for $10. If you want one of the five-day weekend passes, they are 19 And all kinds of different options for you also if you want to uh, purchase one of our packages for the NFL season. And as you know, Crash, anytime you become a member and you're part of our family, our community, you get everything that we have, all yeah. of our information, all our relationship with Pro Football Focus, all our stats. Uh, you know, our, our team's doing a phenomenal job there and all our sports. So whatever uh, we're playing, uh, providing for content, uh, podcasts, everything, it is yours. So today we are here to attack Major League Baseball, give our three top hitters and our top pitcher on the on the card for the main slate tonight. It's a nice 13 game slate, and then uh, also one strong fade that is gutsy. We don't ever pick garbage fades, uh, both yeah. as a pitcher and a hitter. And then the bonus, because it's Friday, we're going to build a two brains are better than one FanDuel GPP. So that being said, my man, who is your pitcher today? We'll start with our pitcher. My favorite pitcher today is going to be Robbie Ray. I think that's pretty obvious. He seems like the clear top play on the slate. He's 11,200 on FanDuel. He's 10,700 on DraftKings. I know he's going to be chalky, so what I'm probably going to do is just try to find the different bats that I want to differentiate my lineups with. But he's got double-digit strikeouts in his last four starts, and I just I just looked at the slate pretty pretty thoroughly and i thought you know this is obvious obviously the top guy on the slate for me so yeah and you know just to keep the show fresh reactive and everything else we never compare any notes because we want to react talk it through and see uh you know talk talk it out but guess what i'm robbie ray as well i mean i looked at i looked this up and down and i generally on huge cards like this 13 14 15 games not, you know, I like to try to fade that top pitcher or a couple of top pitchers as best mm -hmm. I can because you have so many choices that some of them are going to land in good spots. But I could not get away from Robbie Ray. He's, he's you know, in the race for the Cy Young. So, you know, he's really punching it hard. And, you know, the matchup's great against a really garbage Baltimore team, man. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I still respected some of those bats a little bit. But, you know, they're, they're just awful. Um, you, know, you don't lose 19 in a row like they did this season and, and be, you know, decent. So um, I am definitely feel strong about Robbie Ray. Like you said, he's 10-7 he's on DraftKings, 11-2 on, on FanDuel, but he's uh, 56 on Yahoo as well. So you're not getting a cheap price on any of the sites. Uh, he's expensive. And it's going to cost you, but I just don't think you can chase those points with any of the other pitchers. So my recommendation as well is Mr. Robbie Ray uh, for the Toronto Blue Jays. All right, first hitter, Crash, what do you got? So for my first hitter, I've got Bryce Harper. Uh, I know he's not cheap. He's 4000 on FanDuel. He's 5800 on DraftKings. The funny thing to me about uh, his price on DraftKings is he was 6300 on DraftKings last night. So he hit a home wow. run last night and he went down 500. How does that <laughs> so, make sense? Yeah. yeah, exactly. He's hit a home run in four of his last five games. Um, 27 of his 30 home runs have been against right-handed pitchers. Yeah. And German Marquez has really struggled in his last three starts. He 
played against Atlanta, Texas, and the Cubs, and they all hit him pretty hard. So I definitely yeah. like Bryce Harper tonight. Yeah, I think that's a good play. And and Marquez definitely is going backwards. He's been yeah. uh people have been rostering him still, which is bizarre, but I think uh I think that's a great pick. Harper is certainly locked in, no doubt about it. And uh you're you're gonna I believe now qualified for a card carrying member of the Brace Harper fan club. So Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> Not I don't against the Brewers him. when he hit two home runs against us though. So I know. Yeah. I, don't, I don't blame you, man. All right. I'm going to go, uh, believe it or not, with Joey Gallo from the Yanks. I mm -hmm. think, you know, he's just due. He hits re really well against pitchers like Walker that are going to try to get that fastball and slider by him, and he'll just yank him out of that, uh, you know, the Mets uh, park. So I, I think Joey Gallo is a sneaky play. That'll have low ownership. He's forty-five hundred on DraftKings, uh, only twenty-four hundred dollars on FanDuel, and only thirteen dollars mm. on Yahoo. So you get value, uh, you get low ownership to give you some leverage, and I think he goes deep today. Good. All right, play, coach. Thank you. Uh, mm. He'll be seeing our two brains lineup. I can promise you that. Yeah. Um, second hitter, what do you have, sir? I've got Kiki Hernandez, uh, the Boston Red Sox. He's 3,400 on FanDuel. He's 4,600 on DraftKings. He's got three home runs and four at bats against Rodon. So yeah. I really like that that PVP there. Uh, and Rodon's coming off a shoulder injury too. So I kind of want to attack him a little bit. Well, you're not going to believe this. My second guy, literally in that order, is Kiki Hernandez. <laughs> how is that? How could Kiki make both our teams? That's just incredible with all yeah. these players playing. That we have two of the two of the first three guys the same, which same. is wild. Yeah. You know, that's awesome that we're on the same wavelength, and so load up on these guys. I think Hernandez is a steal that you could the flack that you could play him at second base, and he's only 17 on uh, on. Yahoo as well. So I just, I love the spot. He had missed a few games. He's been back now. He's their spark plug. I mean, I didn't expect him to be like the key guy for that team. But if you, yeah. if you look at Boston, when they do well, <clears throat> he usually plays well. I mean, I'm talking about over, you know, all the rest of the guys mm -hmm. uh, on that team, JD and, and uh, Bogarts and everybody, he is their spark plug. I like him in this matchup a lot. I think his price is fair. And his ownership should not be bad. So, yeah, excellent pick, sir. If we have this last one, this is, is going to be hilarious. <laughs> so, who do, who's your last hitter? Okay, my third hitter is going to be Jordan Luplo. Nope, we, okay. we're safe. Okay. <laughs> uh, Twenty-two hundred on Fanduel, three thousand on DraftKings. He's hit two home runs against Matthew Boyd um, already this, in his career, and he's always good value. I feel like against left-handed pitchers, so. Definitely a great value there with Jordan Luplo. Nice, nice play. Uh, I went with Jazz Chisholm Jr. I just like <laughs> him out of that stupid ballpark in Miami where it's very hard to hit. He gets to hit in the launching pad. I like the, the pitching matchup. Uh, 4,300 on DraftKings, 31 on FanDuel, and only 12 uh, on mm. Yahoo. So fills that shortstop spot definitely can steal you a bag or two uh this matchup makes sense and i think he's got a good shot uh at the launching pad there it's, it's warm um and it's night and day hitting there as compared to hitting at the marlin stadium right. so he is my third hitter and also somebody i'll be lauded and plot adding and la and cheering for as we build uh this two brains lineup so yeah yeah i considered him too so i like that i like that play so hey <laughs> thank we you we almost man. had three out of you know, or that's you know, three out of the first four so. hard, hard to believe with this many teams on the slate i mean that yeah. that doesn't even happen when we have like a little four or five game or let alone a almost right. a full slate all right this is all this is big here be the fades because we've been really you know by some great pr predictions and statistical analysis and by some luck, like, mm -hmm. you know, it just depends on the scenario, but we've had a, a real good success with high owned, high price fades. And uh, 
a lot of good comments. Appreciate the good comments on YouTube and on Twitter. Uh, so what are you looking at from the fade side as far as your pitcher? Yeah, so for my pitcher, I'm looking at um, – I, I mentioned it earlier how uh, Carlos Rodon was coming off a shoulder injury, and uh, he's going to be the pitcher that I'm going to fade tonight. He's 10800 on FanDuel. He's 10300 uh, 10, on DraftKings, so he's actually a little bit cheaper on DraftKings, which is a little bit unusual. But he's just coming off his shoulder injury. Um, the White Sox have a 10 game lead in their division. So if they see, you know, any kind of slight discomfort or anything, I think they could pull him pretty quick. And then you've got the tough matchup with Boston with a powerful right handed bat. So, uh, my fate is going to be Carlos Rodon tonight. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. He, he's my second choice, and I was back and forth, but mm -hmm. I'm definitely fading him. <clears throat> and I think he'll get ownership. He always does. Yeah. People really love to, to play him. Uh, I'm going to go back to a guy to fade again that I feel bad because I like this guy, but this is my second time for fading him. And it's jumping Joe Musgrove. I just, <laughs> you know, having that matchup, man, that's, you know, that's uh, facing all those good bats at that expense. Yeah. People love to roster him. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it's the no hitter sticks in people's minds, but he just seems to be over owned most of the time. I don't know. Maybe people like to wait for that late game. I, there's <clears> got to <throat> be a reasoning, but he's not cheap at all. He's ninety six hundred dollars on DraftKings, ninety four hundred on FanDuel, and forty five mm. on Yahoo. So, you know, an expensive fade. You know, you fade Musgrove and Rodon, uh, and you grab Ray, like the two of us are doing. That's going to give you some a different look because yeah. um, yes, Ray's going to be chalky. And a lot of people spend up for him. But I guarantee Musgrove and uh, and um, your man Rodon uh, Rodon will get a lot of ownership as well. So yeah, they will. They yeah. will for sure. So I think that'll give us some differentiation there and uh, a little bit of uh, contrarianism, depending on who we fill in with these bats, because it's not like we're going to be able to unload the, the wagon with a cheap uh, since we're not rostering a cheap pitcher we're going to have to have some bats with a little bit of value. So mm -hmm. before we build that two brains lineup, which we do uh, for every Friday podcast uh, is uh, I want to go over just a couple real quick things. And just uh, if you want to join us at DFS coach talk, uh, you can uh, jump on our uh, website, dfscoachtalk.com. Uh, you also have the opportunity to check us out on Twitter at DFS coach talk. Uh, we'd love for you to leave some uh, comments here in YouTube if you're watching. On YouTube, if you are, please hit that thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, hit the little alert uh, clock there up in the corner. That'll let you know when any of our podcasts post, which it's being super busy now. We have podcasts uh, for MLB, NFL, and ML, uh, PGA. And then uh, basketball will be back on the scene. This last podcast schedule I put up there, uh, crash the at the bottom of it there in October, we have the NBA preview already. So, oh, wow. yeah. yeah, we're going to be having all four of our main sports, and we focus on those four. We don't try to stretch out into a million sports. Uh, we focus and really try to be the best of the best at those four sports. So I'd uh, love to have you join us there. If you're listening to it audio wise on any, you know, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Podbean, Stitcher, iHeart, all, all the different mediums for uh, audio podcasts, uh, please take a second, give us a five star, give us a, a couple of uh, words, you know, enjoyed the pod, great pod, whatever, or whatever your, your comment is. We, we respect them all. But if you do that, you get into a contest for a free one-week full-access membership, Everything Coach Talk. That is drawn at the end of each month, so you have three weeks left to do that. Um, other than that, you know, just big uh, shout-out to our NFL team. They did a terrific job uh, night one. Uh, we've put together a real all-star uh, group led by, of course, uh, Andrew Hansen and Joe Stanton. Uh, and yours truly here, Crash Davis, who's uh, fired up to get into the NFL mode. <clears throat> and, uh, of, co of course, John Wehausen, who's uh, just jumping all over this pro football 
focus a relationship with us and all the statistical analysis and, and analysis and everything is going to be fantastic for this uh, Sunday's game. So come and join us. We'd love to have you and uh, definitely going to get after it. All right, man, I'm going to flip over to the FanDuel board here and it is time for the two brains lineup. We got to do our uh, fade hitters, right? Oh, we didn't do our fade hitter. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And I'll tell you what, since I forgot it, I'll go first. Okay. Kyle <laughs> Schwarber, 5,200 mm. on DraftKings, 3,500 on FanDuel, 20 on Yahoo. So Schwarber, always high owned, always home run potential. I know that you probably don't like this matchup. You're probably against it, but I think a lot of people are going to go Schwarber. And I just, you know, have a feeling it's lefty lefty. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, you know, at his price, you're committing to you need the guy to hit a home run. Yeah. So I'm controversial <clears throat> and and pretty contrarian uh fading Kyle Schwarber today. Yeah. Well, for my fade, I'll tell you who it's not going to be, and that's going to be Nelson Cruz. <laughs> we never fade that guy again. He did got you notice, though, last you, time. You faded him. I didn't say anything, but I did put him in my lineups, and I yeah. just wanted to fly under the radar because I did not want to stick it to you. But after the second home run, dude, I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was crazy. Um you actually faded him last time, I think, the guy that I'm fading this time. And and uh, it's actually going to be Fernando Tatis Jr. Yeah. Um, 4,200 on FanDuel. He's 6,100 on DraftKings. Just like you said last time, with him being at the outfielder position on DraftKings, I definitely like Bryce Harper over Fernando Tatis tonight. Um, he's had eight plate appearances against Julio Urias. He only has one hit. Um, and like I said, I would just prefer Bryce Harper over Tatis. So that's that's really one of the main reasons that I'm going to play or I'm going to fade Tatis tonight. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, his price hasn't adjusted to the positionality of him switching to outfield tier two. So yeah, yeah, I've he's definitely the luster is off Tatis right now. But hey, if you know he can get hot in a heartbeat. But I'm with you tonight. I think Uris is a good pitcher, and I think that's uh, a smart play. Sounds good. All right. Now I'm excited for this two brains. Now can we go two brains? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. So the question is, being a GPP, do we want to move away from Robbie Ray? Are we going to bite the bullet? What do you think is the best way to, to attack this GPP on FanDuel? So I was thinking we probably would try to move away from him. I'm just not sure where we want to go. That's well, my my big dilemma is, you know. I just, yeah, I wanted to make sure that uh, you wanted to move away from him. But I do have a pitcher that I'd like. Okay, go ahead and take the pitcher then. We just mentioned him like 30 seconds ago, and it's Julio Urias. Okay. I think that... Uh, San Diego seems uh, a little slumped. I don't see those, the, you know, the big bunches of hits they were getting. Urias has been very solid, especially when he pitches at home. Yeah. And I think 9,600 is very fair. I like it. All I right. You like it. I will go catch your first base. I'm going to try and save us some money here. So. Okay. This will be a little contrarian, but I'm going to go with Bobby Bradley from the Cleveland Indians against my Brewers. Wow, against your Brewers, man. I can't believe it. I I'm a, I really like Bobby Bradley. He homered for me the last time I rostered him, so I think that's a solid pick. Uh, obviously, I've got to take Kike Hernandez. Yeah. That's our number one guy today. We both picked him, so it's an exactly. easy fill-in at second base. Yeah. All right, so for third base, I will take Eugenio Suarez from the Cincinnati Reds. Okay. Um, and I'm going to stick with my buddy Jazz Chisholm Jr. at shortstop for the okay. aforementioned reasons. It's a good price, 3100 
I th- I thought so. He was in the upper fours there for a while, then he yeah he stayed in the low fours, and then he. I mean, he literally has dropped a thousand from not that long ago. Right, and then I'm going to go to uh, back to some value here with Jordan Luplo, 2200. Excellent. We need that because we're getting a little pricey. And then I'm taking the discounted price on my man Joey Gallo. So he's. Uh, yeah, how did he drop so far? I mean, at 2400 dollars on. Fan duel. Uh, I'm just, I mean, he's got to be 100% owned. I mean, the yeah. guy, I think the guy's going to homer. He, you know, he was like, I think 46 at one point. Yeah, I was going to say he was like 4,400 a I, couple weeks ago. I swear it was just a couple I'm, weeks. On Fan duel, he's going to be in every single possible lineup at that price. I he's just don't be. see how. Yeah, he, he, it's just be. a misprice. And so the great thing. Go ahead. I was gonna say the great thing about it is that gives us two spots left and we have 8400 which never happens yeah so i'll take harper you got yeah and that leaves me 4400 in the utility spot and you're not gonna like me here buddy i gotta take jose ramirez he is such a monster stud Yeah, I under I understand that pick for sure. I do. I mean, he's just so good. I, yeah, I, he's one of my favorite players. Plus, we got Bradley already, so yeah, a little bit of a mini stack there. Yep. So that that's a solid squad. You know, switching from uh, Ray to Urias opened up that money. So we have uh, Urias, Bradley, Hernandez, Suarez, Chisholm Jr., Gallo, Luplo, Harper, and Ramirez. Yep. Some sticks in the backside of that lineup. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. So outstanding, man. Very, very good lineup. I think we're really on target for a big Friday. And again, you could join us uh, at DFS Coach Talk if you want to check us out on Twitter, or uh, you can go right to our website, DFSCoachTalk.com. We have all kinds of specials right now for the NFL. Also, if you bet football, If you're planning on loading up on these NFL games this Sunday, which I know a lot of people do, we have an exclusive offer. No other uh, provider has this offer with betus.com.pa. If you sign up for the first time with them and make a $149 deposit, you receive two free months of DFS Coach Talk, totally scot-free. So you cannot beat that. That is a $150 value in itself. Mm-hmm. And the 149 that you deposit uh, in order to get that two months free at betus.com.pa, you get to use to bet on the games, which I would have been all over the Cowboys last night with those big nine, 10 points they were getting. Yeah. So if you, you feel hot and you're going to go that route, why not you know take advantage of the one two punch of betus.com.pa and DFS coach? I've been a member of BetUS for 15 years, Crash. Can you believe mm. that? No. Yeah, that time flies. Yeah. Yeah. It so it's, it's great place, great payouts. They, they get things done quickly and very efficiently. Uh, very reputable sports book. So <clears throat> definitely something you want to check out there. And uh, busy week. Check out uh, the podcast this weekend. Uh, and then also for the Sunday night, Monday night game. Uh, you can check those out right here uh, on our DFS Coach Talk YouTube channel or anywhere podcasts are heard. All right, my man, any uh, final thoughts? Yeah, I just want to remind everybody about our giveaway uh, on Twitter. Yes. We need 100 retweets, and we're going to be giving away a, a full season's membership for NFL. Um, we've got the Pro Football Analytics this year, so we got a lot to offer for our NFL members and uh, just – you know, really want to encourage people on Twitter to go ahead and retweet that tweet. And uh, hopefully it'll be you that wins the, the free season pass. So, yes, it's a $350 value. So you cannot yeah. beat that. And we're getting close to that number. So retweet it and uh, <clears throat> we'll get that drawing going. That sounds good. All right, man. Well, uh, enjoy the the baseball tonight. I know you know we're going after it. I'll be all over baseball tomorrow and with Crash, and then we got football Sunday and Monday. Uh, super busy, super intense week here for DFS. 
thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we'll definitely be coming to you this weekend with NFL, and we'll have some more MLB podcasts next week as well. So yep. have a tremendous day. Have a tremendous weekend. And we'll catch you again next time when we look to crush it in DFS.